Okay, so I'm back. Okay, so, um... Uh, sorry if I look like crap. But, um... She said, hey... Hey, girl. She said, you are hella funny. Uh-uh. Don't be coming on my, in my inbox. Give me a swing. Hella funny. Girl, she probably was like, girl, you was hella funny. No. Don't put your slang in my inbox, okay? Keep your slang to yourself. But um, she said, you are hella funny. Thank you so much. Thank you. And she said, I'm glad that I am not the only person, older person who loves NBA. Girl, give me some. Don't play. Um... Here's a question. Have you met Diggy? I did the last, last, this past Friday, Jesus Christ. And I freaked out and I started shaking so bad that I forgot my question. Yes, I did meet Diggy. And I don't know. It, I, I, I don't know. Um, What is it? What is it? Like rappers, they don't do anything for me. Only rapper that I like is Kelly from Audio and uh, Mr. Rock Royal. That's it. I really don't, not really big on rap. But, um, yeah, I actually, I have Diggy CD. I went the day, I want to see the part when he was there. I went, then, you guys saw me on TV. I was all on TV. I was like, I they should give him a good time. You know, I was all in the camera. But, um, yeah, Diggy is different from MB. Like, when, when we was there, it was like, um, when MB's there, it's a party. I mean, it's a party. It's a party. Like, we be having fun. Like, I'm trying to tell y'all, when them cameras start rolling, they be running around taking pictures. I'm mean, not taking pictures. They be running around talking to us and hugging and everything. It's fine. But when Diggy, he was just like, like, he didn't want to talk to us or anything. Like, we're like, damn, Diggy. Can you say hi? God damn. He just standing there. <laughs> but he was like, um, he said, um, like, my friend, shout out to Adaria. She's like, Diggy! Oh, loud and ratchet like she always is. She's like, um, sorry y'all, I'm being ratchet right now. Sitting all this stuff on the And she's like, um, what's she said? Oh, she's like, yay, 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 uh-uh, yay, yay. And he turns around and she's like, hey. Like, they were shooting in the gym. Girl. But she she did call Diggy and she's like, oh, today's her birthday. Talking to my, um, to my cousin. Shout out to Lady Fool. Follow her on Twitter, it's at LadyFool88, 89, 89, LadyFool89. Shout out to her, she said, it's your birthday, and then I went to go turn over, this fool crying. I said, oh, Lord. So now she's crying, and Diggy's looking at us like we're all crazy. But Diggy was ready to himself, like he really wasn't talking to a lot of us. Go close my door. Like he wasn't talking to a lot of us, he was just like, yeah. Hey, I'm Diggy. Yeah, uh-huh. He just, he came to do what he had to do, and he did. He ain't had time for all that other stuff. And when MB there, they be jumping off the table on the couch here. They be swag surfing on people. Like, they be going crazy. They be passing out chicken. They go, they do crazy stuff. But Diggy was just like, I ain't doing what y'all. Oh, hell no. I ain't doing what y'all. I'm coming here to do what I gotta do. And I'm gonna take my ass home. But, um, Diggy cool, though. I like Diggy, so I look. Can we talk? Did y'all, did y'all peep? And pull out a word, he's like, I'm addicted to your kisses and something, something, and your uh. Hey, off me one word. Off me one word. What he said? He said, I'm addicted to your kisses and your hugs or something, and your uh. I said, and your uh. Did you let me find out that you bumping around it, okay? Because I will block you. Um. And you can no longer be around you if you're bumping the ground. It. Um, but yeah, um, so yeah, uh, when he said that, I was like, Diggy, I mean, one word, and that mean, uh, the on down here, he said, I'm addicted to you. Oh, uh, I said, uh, hey, hey, that's your business. Hey, that's your business. I don't know about you. Uh, I don't know about you. Oof, I don't know about you. <laughs> no, hey, hey, that's your business. Keep that to yourself, okay? That's your business. But it's normal, especially when you first see someone, it's normal to get choked up. Don't don't think that it's not. Like, you're like, ah, I did this. No, it's okay because when I, let me tell y'all. Let me tell the story when I first met Audio. Back in 2007, I first, 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 first met them. Yeah, when I first met them. Patrick, that's my man. 
mans, yo. That's my mans. Even when I get a real mans, I'm going to be like, hey, you come second to Patrick because that's my mans. No, you come third because it's Patrick and then it's Pride and then you. Okay, remember that. Always remember that. You can't be replaced by them any day, okay? But I talked to everyone. Carnell, he made a fool out of me. Brian helped make a fool out of me. Kelly was cool. He had his hand in his pocket the whole time. Dustin was high. And I'm like... And Patrick's having a full-blown conversation with me. And I'm looking at him like... And he's like, he's hugging me like, yeah. And I'm just like... Get off me. Like, I didn't want him to touch me. I didn't want him to do anything. Because I was like... So shocked that I'm standing in front of him. I, I was with him for two hours. And I could not believe that he was standing in front of me talking to me and everything. I didn't say anything to him. Nothing. Not one word. Not one word. All I was like. I shook the whole time. Like I had so many questions I want to ask him. I wanted to do this. When I was when I was there, I was like, oh, I'm going to ask him this. I'm going to do this. I'm gonna do... I ain't do nothing. I ain't do crap. Okay? Nothing. All right? I wish. So, it's normal. Don't feel bad. Like, oh, you know, I didn't do... Don't, no, 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 no. Don't feel bad. No, don't feel bad. Normal. Now, the second time, you do it again, you got a problem. And I'm going to have to see you. We're going to have to see each other. Because we're going to have to talk about that. Because that's just out of control. You need to get that out of your system. But that's only the second time. Happened. The first time, you excuse. You excuse. You, it's like being new in class, you know, and you don't have a book and you don't do your homework. It's like, okay. And you know, when I give you a book and you still do your homework, hey, buddy, hey, we got to talk. So, it's cool. You didn't you didn't say anything, fine. But second time you see him, you better say something. Ask him questions. Ask him for anything. Ask him. You better do it. Ask him. Or me and you are going to have a long conversation. Um, uh... Have you ever personally witnessed and be having the management hold a fan for them or get their number? Um, have I? Have I? I think at Kmart. I think at Kmart. I think at Kmart, um, someone did that. But I know that they do that though. But I can't remember if it was at Kmart when I saw that. But I know for sure they do that because I'm telling you, if they want something from you, they want to talk to you extra, they would do it because Prodigy did it with me. I was, show was over. The boys was upstairs getting ready for Ustream and Prodigy downstairs talking to me. I was, I got up, I got my bag and I'm like, okay, it's time for me to go. I'm putting my bag on, I'm making sure I got everything, I didn't leave anything. Next day I know I see Prodigy with his security. He like, to me and I'm like, me? He like, uh. Give me a hand. He took my hand and he took me in the back. And we talked and I cried and he laughed and I made him laugh and it was a good time. So yeah, they do they do that. They definitely do that because he did it with me. They he supposed to be at Ustream and he's downstairs talking to me, having a full blown conversation, trying to get me put together. But um, yeah, they do that. So I'm telling you guys, when you go see MB, make sure your hair is done, looking nice, get on your nice little shirt and your pants. Make sure your clothes on, okay? Y'all too grown, you have some wrinkled clothes, okay? I ain't playing with y'all and your wrinkleness. I ain't playing, I ain't dealing, and I know Ray Ray ain't gonna deal. We ain't dealing with y'all. So make sure your clothes on and it smell good. Don't smell like old waffles, cause that ain't cute. And then you go on a hug man, smell like old waffles. Hey, get your old waffle smelling. Get out of here. Nobody gonna hug you. So make sure you know you're in there looking good. And then, you know, if they feeling you and they want to get more, they want to touch you more, they definitely will do that. They After something, they will, they will be like, oh, wait, you know what? I don't got to go, but I want to talk to that girl. Let me go. Let me, let's go walk around and find her. And yeah, they do it. It's just like, especially if it's packed, like, but see, in one of the it was intimate. So he could have came out and did it. But if it's something big, like how it was at Kmart, he probably would have had, okay. Okay, I want honey. She had this on. She had this on. She had that on. She, go find her. And he probably did that way. But since it's at 106, it was more intimate. So he just came out and just. Can we talk? Can we talk now? Yo, let me tell you something. When Prodigy came out, right, to come and get me, I was done. Like, I saw him, but in my mind, I thought that they were still all out. So I'm like, whatever, I'm, I'm done. I'm, I'm crying, my content about to fall out. I'm done. And then he's just like, he looked at me. 
And then someone asked him, oh, probably he's like, no, wait, I, I'm, I'm looking for someone. And the way he was walking, like he was looking around, he's like, oh, oh there she go. And he just put his hand out and, and grabs his hand and he walked me down the bleachers. I was just like, I'm gonna kill my cousin, he's in my room right now, pissing me off. Um, but this question will come up, gotta be great. Someone asked me questions on Twitter, but I can't remember what they was, and now this this one don't come up, but um, yeah you guys. Someone asked me why am I so funny, and I'm just like, honestly you guys, I don't think I'm funny. No, like seriously, we can talk, like we, you, you know we can talk. Hey. I was with y'all when y'all was shooting in the gym. I was there. I was there. I was the coach. I remember me. I was coach. So we, we finna talk. But y'all, I don't think I'm funny. Honestly. Like when I wake But you know what? Adiris saw me and my best friend Candy. You know, that she was with us for like a week. Weekend. So when we wake up, seriously. If you don't believe me, follow her. At it's me Adiris. She will tell you, I wake up this way. I'm telling you, this is me 24-7. I don't try to put on the front for anybody. And I'm not trying to make you... This is me 24-7. I'm crazy, goofy, weird, bipolar. All of that. Schizophrenic, I'm all of that. All of it. I'm telling you, this is me for fun. The moment I opened my eyes, I was making everybody laugh. And they were just like, are you serious? I just woke up. And I'm like, look, I just woke up too. Okay. Like, I'm, it's just me. I just say whatever comes to my mind, and I just say it, and then you guys laugh at it, and I'm just like, I was serious. And then you guys laugh again because I was serious. And then I go, Uh, I want to say shout out to Carnell. He always chilling like bro man from the fifth floor. From the fifth floor. I love Carnell. I want to say Carnell, I love you. And I want to say to all y'all, Team Audio, where we be at? Hey, throw up your box. Stop playing. Um, I'm so happy that the boys are are getting everything together. I'm so happy, and I'm happy that Brian is tweeting. He coming out of that shell. He crawling out of there. I'm so happy. I'm so happy about that. I think it's L. A. I'm telling you, L. A. Everything is just better. Like, if you get if you lose your car, it's my need, Jack. You you like? You know what? Take that car, boy. I'm in L. A. Take that damn car. Take that. I want my money. You want, you, want my, you want my shoes too? Hey, take these goddamn shoes. I'm in LA. Like, it's just like, everything's better. It don't, I don't. I'd rather be mauled in LA and in New York because I'll be tight. I'll be pissed if I get mauled in New York. LA, I'm like, you know what? I don't care. I, I'm in LA. And walk away. Okay, got a question. First, I gotta say that I cry when I see you in B2. Girl, I'll be. They be breaking me down. Like, I'll be like. But I would never, you would never see me, I would never be the fan that's on the floor doing the worm. No. Hey, I'm not about to go on the floor doing the worm for nobody. I don't even do the worm, so therefore I'm not about to try to do it. No, I'm not doing it. Um, first question is, how do, how do I get a boy to recognize, how do you get a boy to recognize you? I actually really like you. Oh, well, they like him. He is, he is a good boy. The second question is, I don't know. Um, wait, you're saying how you like a boy, but he's a complete fart? Don't, sweetie, don't set yourself up for that. Don't do it. Don't do it. If he's a fart, leave his flirting ass alone. Leave him over there in the corner where he's gonna flirt all day. No, don't set yourself up for that. If you really, really like him, none will be your boo thing. None will be your boyfriend. Don't bring him on to mama. Heck no, he ain't coming home to mama. No. I'm telling you, a flirting guy will always flirt. I'm trying to tell you. There's no changing him. There's no, no, he's going to flirt. 
I'm gonna stop the video right now. <laughs>